Is it right for us to live together if we're probably going to get married someday? So I had this question come in from all kinds of different angles, climbing all sides of the mountain. In fact, I had one couple that wrote in that they're, they're, um, they're raising their kids and they're trying to instill their values into them. Their parents have gone through a divorce and one of the parents is living with somebody right now that is not their spouse. And so their children are seeing their grandparents and they're asking, what do you think, Chris? So I personally believe, it's my opinion, that it is always wrong for a couple to live together before they're married, okay? That's that's my personal opinion. Uh, That stated, it just seems like the more that I, 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 I fight against this, it just seems like more and more people are actually doing this. So I've actually come to the conclusion, I've actually caved into social pressure here recently, and I just decided that if this is where everyone is going right now, that I, I just felt like um, I, I just need to write a, um, a ceremony for those that are uh, going that direction. In fact, uh, Anthony and Chelsea, why don't you guys, you guys come up, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming here today, today. If you guys would, why don't you guys stand right here? All right. And if the two of you guys would look each other in the eyes, and Anthony, um, I want you to, with as much truth that you can possibly muster, I want you to repeat after me Okay. for Chelsea. I, Anthony, take you, Chelsea. I, Anthony, take you, Chelsea. To be my cohabitant. To be my cohabitant. To have sex with you. To have sex with you. And to hold you responsible for half the bills. And to hold you responsible for half the bills. To love and take advantage of you. To love and take advantage of you. From this day forward. From this day forward. Or as long as our arrangement works out. Or as long as our arrangement works out. And then Chelsea, will you repeat these vows after me? I, Chelsea, promise to be more or less faithful to you. I, Chelsea, promise to be more or less faithful to you. As long as my needs are, needs are met and nothing else better comes along. As long as my needs are met and nothing else better comes along. And if we should break up. And if we should break up. It doesn't mean that it was not special to me. It does not mean it was not special to me. I'm committed to live with you for as long as it works out. I'm committed to live with you for as long as it works out. So would the two of you guys both repeat these vows together? So we make this vow to each other. So we make this vow to each other. In the name of sex, options, and selfishness. In the name of sex, options, and selfishness. Amen. Amen. Well, Anthony and Chelsea, I want to be the first to congratulate you guys. You are now officially living together. I hope it works out for the two of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, you can, you know what to do. Okay, listen, hey, listen, listen. If I've not offended you yet, just stick around, okay? I'm gonna get to you in just a minute, okay? In fact, let me tag a question onto this, this one here because uh, some of you even asked the question, hey, is it okay for me to spend the night with my girlfriend even though we're not gonna have sex? Some of you even asked, hey, can I go on a trip with my girlfriend, like a little vacation if we promise that we're not going to have sex? So let me give you some things to consider, okay? The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, do not cause anyone to stumble. So let's just say that you are strong enough not to have sex. Well, the reality is is that you've got a lot of people with with their eyes in the back of your head, and they're watching your example. And they might watch you and think, well, if they did this, so can we, and they actually might end up stumbling and stepping into something that is very damaging to their relationship. In fact, another verse to consider, it says this, abstain from all appearances of evil. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you love your girl, you need to guard, you need to guard, um, guard her reputation, just like you guarding yours. Like we talked about last week, you are, what is, the, what is the life story that you are creating right now? You wanna make sure that you create a life story that when you look back someday, when your kids look back someday, that you're not ashamed of the life story that you're, that you're creating, that you're writing right now. In fact, if, if none of that does anything for you, maybe just maybe you would like to take some advice from Alcoholic Anonymous 
that made, that made this statement that if you find yourself in temptation, how to avoid it, they state it like this, avoid slippery places. Avoid slippery places. 